The clock is ticking down to the start of yet another hurricane season, beginning June 1st and not ending for six months until November 30th. But Mother Nature doesn't really follow a calendar, and as a result, when the conditions are right, tropical storms and hurricanes can form outside of the normal season. Now, there's reasoning to why there's a designated hurricane season, and that's because 97% of all named storms occur during the six-month window. This happens because the atmospheric and ocean conditions are the most ideal. We've got an abundance of warm ocean water, 80 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer, moist air, seeds of energy ejecting into the Atlantic off the African coast, and favorable upper-level winds, which are influenced by the ENSO phase, La Nina, El Nino, or neutral. But sometimes these conditions will persist long after the season has ended or become favorable well before the season even begins. Now, records of tropical systems go back to 1851. Of the off-season months, which do you think is the quietest in terms of tropical activity? January, February, March, April, May, or December? Let's find out. Even though it may be the middle of winter at this point, we've seen named tropical systems in the Atlantic during the month of January. The last time this occurred wasn't all that long ago, in 2016 with the formation of Alex, which became a Category 1 hurricane the strongest hurricane ever recorded in the month of January. Any other January storms? Well, yes, but we have to travel back decades to find it. That was in 1938, a hurricane known as Number One formed in the Atlantic. Now, why a number and no name? Well, tropical storms and hurricanes weren't actually given names until 1953 in the Atlantic, and at that time, it was just female names. It wasn't until 1979 that both male and female names began being used in, a, in the basin in a rotating six-year list. Now back to the storms. There was also a tropical storm in 1951 and a subtropical storm in 1978. Now on to February, really the heart of deep cold over much of the northern hemisphere at this point in our seasonal cycle. Surely this month is pretty quiet. And yes, it is, but still over that 170 years, a few tropical systems did manage to form in February. Thankfully, no hurricanes have ever formed this month. However, there has been one tropical storm in 1952, and this one tracked right along the U.S. southeast coastline. They call this one the Groundhog Day Storm. There was also a tropical depression in 1911. Now, of those six possible months, of those answers that I said of which one would be the quietest in terms of off-season months, well, March is the correct answer. Only one storm since 1851 has been recorded during the month, but that storm was quite a doozy, a Category 2 hurricane in the year 1908 that became known as the strongest off-season storm on record. Now, as we're heading into spring, ocean temperatures are warming. The northern hemisphere is now past the vernal equinox. Days are longer and more heat energy is available in the oceans for potential storms. April, as you'd expect, starts to see an uptick in activity despite it being technically off season. There have been seven recorded storms in April since 1851. A few of them have occurred rather recently. In April of 2017, we had our first named storm of the year, Arlene, which maxed out as a weak tropical storm. In 2003, we saw Anna develop and become a tropical storm. No hurricanes have been recorded in April, though, which is the good news. Now, the month before the season officially starts sees a huge jump in activity. 55 storms have been recorded in May. In fact, each year since 2018, we've had a named storm in the basin during the month. Last year, Anna kicked off the 2021 list, forming on May 22nd, becoming a tropical storm. The start of the most active year on record, 2020, began with Arthur on May 16th, which became a tropical storm. Now, out of 55 storms, only six went on to become hurricanes, and none of those occurred this century. Now let's head to the other side of the season, the back end, December. Coming down off of months of higher sun angles, cooking up the Atlantic waters, activity drops off markedly. Only 12 storms have formed in December since records began in 1851. Most recently was 2013, an unnamed subtropical storm. Five storms did become hurricanes. Now, here are some really interesting facts from the official Atlantic Hurricane Database. The first storm to occur out of season was in 1865. The year with the most off-season storms, that was in 1887 with a total of five. In seven seasons, there have been storms both before and after the season. Out of all of those storms that occurred out of season, how many made landfall? 
Now, I will say that most do not make landfall. Good news. Most recently was Tropical Storm Bertha, which came ashore in 2020 near Isle of Palms, South Carolina. And in 2012, Tropical Storm Barrel made landfall near Jacksonville, Florida. Now, as we head into another season, there are already seasonal outlooks that point towards an above average season in terms of activity in the basin. This is based off of background conditions that will be favorable for development, most notably a continuation of La Nina conditions, colder waters off the Pacific in the Pacific Ocean for the third season in a row. Now, La Nina conditions reduce the level of wind shear in the Atlantic. Lack of wind shear helps storms remain intact. Now, time will tell with how this season plays out. It's important to remember that it only takes one.